Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Hensley, your CEO. Okay. Last night, you got part of my hair. Actually, I, I just woke up. <laughs> Last night, things kind of blew out of proportion. Okay. We had a lot of disagreement. A lot of you may think you're aware of the whole story, but actually, there's only two of us who are actually aware of, who were able to speak, and who are actually aware of everything that's going on. All right. A lot of it is stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be brought up and brought out. Okay. However, there are a few things that need changed. Okay. And the buck is going to stop right here with me. Okay. First off, I accept all responsibility for the confusion. Um, there were some personal things going on in my life that um, I was dealing with at the same time. However, at this point in time, I'm, I, I'm dealing with those. Uh, things are uh, hopefully looking up. And at this point, it's time to um, get back to work. All right. Now, a, a few things here. Uh, first off, um, as CEO, it is my responsibility, first off, to take responsibility for anything that happens. All right. Secondly, we had a plan laid out. We were set up. We had a website, okay? We had P administrators flying on the servers. That's where we needed to be. One of the things I have seen is that everybody has begun getting stressed out, okay? And it looks like uh, because there was a uh, possible vacuum, possible slight struggle with leadership, and um, now basically I'm back. And the buck is going to stop here. Right now, I've been elected as the Chief Executive Officer. It is my duty to make sure this organization runs smoothly. And so there will be some changes that are implemented. All right. First off, let me make it very clear that ever since I have stepped up as the CEO of Global Aviation in 2005, I have placed a value in persons above the organization, all right? The fact that this organization and the chaos that ha has happened in the upper management is affecting college, work, and other things is unacceptable, okay? We are a legitimate organization. We are an established organization, okay? But at the same time, we're as much of an established organization as a public library is. If you're on the board of directors for a public library, do you skip your job? Do you skip your homework in order to work for, or for the library? No. It's something you do in the evenings on your outside time. All right? And realistically, that's what we're dealing with. When we started this, the mission was to educate and promote aviation. Somewhere that has gotten lost and it's time we realign our focus with that. Are there other things we can work for? Yes, but those are other things and right now is not the time to do a complete business line out. We had the chance to do that earlier on. That's over. Nobody wants to sit around and talk business, 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 business. Okay. That sucks the fun out of it. Thursday, we're going to have a meeting. Okay. We need to address this and we need to nip it in the bud. It's starting to come out and boil. Ideas have been passed. The pot is boiling. All right. We have two sides. We have those who want to keep us as a nonprofit and we have those who want to turn us into a for profit. We have those who want to, uh, you know, have a very clear business model and do it the business way. We have those who just want to come in and fly. So for right now, what I'm going to go ahead and do um, is I'm going to change the focus. The focus has been on the servers and XNet and everything else. Okay. Right now we have a website. We have everything that we need to get started. All right. We have a website set up. Now, I'm not saying the servers are not important. Ray, you are the chief technology officer. Okay? 
if you want to continue developing, that's your job. Establish your team. Uh, <clears throat> do it. But I want the group as a whole to shift their focus. Right now, we are severely unbalanced. We have about 12 administrators and one regular pilot. Okay. Now, if you want to go technically by the bylaws, we need to have a vice president of public relations or whatever. Right now, we don't have time to do that. We're starting out. We are a small group. Okay. Right now, who cares, honestly, if we're all directors? We're, you know, we're, we're a bunch of guys who've flown together for about six years and who have a passion for aviation, and that's what we are first. Okay, that, that's it. Everything else aside, nothing else is important. Okay? If it takes removing everybody's essay, then I am willing to do that. You know, but we need to get to the point to where we have some members so that, you know, we don't have one person who doesn't have any permissions and we don't have just one person to come in and fly. And I'm, right now is not the time to assign that role to one person. I would like to ask everybody who flies in Microsoft Flight Simulator to go out and bring in some friends. Okay, we need to get people in. We need to get people flying. Okay. Step one, we all have different schedules. We're not going to be able to change that, and we're not going to be able to work around it. We have different schedules. We have personal lives. We have jobs, myself included. We're going to have to work with that. And in Google Apps, when you go to fly or mail.flygafs.net, there is a calendar in there. You can share that calendar with the whole group. I'm going to ask everybody. There are some people who right now don't fly. Eric, Craig, and so on. Right now, you guys don't have to worry about it so much. But we have got to get people just flying. We were at that point two weeks ago. And that's stopped. And that is unacceptable. That is a core thing that's going to keep this group together. Without that, everybody's going to get burnt out. Okay? So I would like everybody to go to log into your email, click on the calendar link in the upper right hand corner and fill out a schedule of what you do daily, what your daily schedule is so everybody else will know. And then work together, share your calendars with the whole group. If you need help setting it up, let me know. I will be more than happy to come up with a time, I will take a vacation day, if I have to, to meet with you so we can get this set up. All right? And we can get everybody's schedules worked out. That is the biggest problem we have is nobody knows when other people are free. And honestly, if people are saying I'm free from noon until 3, you need to put it in the calendar. We're dealing with 12 people here. Okay? We need to get together. We need to focus on flying and having fun. So therefore, <clears throat> we also need to bring in member pilots. We need to have more than one non-owner who's flying. So I want to challenge each of you. First off, let's get to flying ourselves. Let's get some regular times together, okay? Not work-related, but just to get together, hang out with the guys, and have fun. Get to know each other again. And then, in the next two weeks, I would like to see everybody who's involved in other groups just bring over five friends. Five friends. You know, just, hey, there's some people I'd like you to meet. They're fun to fly with, but we've got to get that down. I will see you all on Thursday. We have some stuff that we have got to work out because I am not going to have, um, you know, chaos, you know, on my watch. We we're going to work, we need to work this out. We need to determine once and for all what direction global aviation is going to head. I have my own personal views on that, but we will all have a chance to share them on Thursday. Thank you and have a great day.